Hey guys, my name is Maltu and welcome back to another Bear Games How To. Today we're going to be looking at the Arc Furnace, how to make it and how to use it. So once you've selected it from your holo projector, you can put it down and we'll go real quick over how to build it. The bottom, there's just a bunch of heat proof bricks. In the middle, you can see these flashing different variations of blocks. This means that you can put any of the three here as long as there's at least one input and one output. So you can see it's flashing between input, output and a heat proof brick. And in the middle we have the actual uh, control block for the furnace. Then we have a layer of air followed by the coils. The coils are actually what uh, determine the speed of your arc furnace. So copper is times one and I will put up a little graphic here showing the speeds of the other coils you can put in there. And on top you have the power input. So either a creative one if you're working on creative or just a normal power input plug. And you can see here we just simply connect those to power as always. So let's take a look at what we can actually do in the arc furnace. If you don't have yay or nay then this is probably very informative for you if you do have it you can find this out on your own by simply pressing u over the electric arc furnace block and it will show you all the usages all the recipes that we can use for that block so we can make titanium aluminite from titanium and aluminum we can turn sand into silicon we can turn iron and charcoal into steel only charcoal by the way coal and coal coke don't work here we have the titanium aluminite ingot recipe again and titanium ingots and iridium make titanium iridium and last but not least rutile ore actually makes titanium. So you can see here the speed also that it takes to make the block here on the right if you're working with times one speed. It also shows you the power so it takes different amount of power to make different recipes. So we can pipe in and out of these input plugs like always. So for example here we have charcoal and here we have iron and we can actually work this to make steel even though they're not in the same input plug at all. All we have to do is now turn the thing on and it'll slowly as you can see here very slowly and this is with a pretty fast one. It'll make steel and it'll come out of the output hatch. And that is all you need to know about the arc furnace. If it isn't, if you still have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, check out our Let's Play series where we're going to be diving deep into advanced rocketry as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!